Braden, it looked like uh, you kind of maybe took it upon yourself a little bit to try to almost take a little bit of a leadership role tonight without GN. Was that something you were conscious of or something people asked you to do or something you just felt you needed to do? You know, it just came to me on the court. I think that uh, we weren't talking and someone needed to talk. And so I just said, you know, I'm going to just speak up. And I'm going to say something. And uh, it just fell into place. And so whether that be my role or whether it's not, I think it helped. And I think that, uh, you know, we're, we can all step up, whether, you know, no matter what the day is and take a role just like that. How much did that change your game any? I mean, obviously you then, you were scoring scoring a lot of points and other things too, besides just talking and maybe keeping the team together. Definitely, I think that, you know, when you're when you're helping someone out in anything in, in life, you know, when you're helping someone out, you're, you're, you're motivating yourself. And so I think it definitely translated on the, on the basketball court when you're trying to encourage, trying to rally other people, you're getting excited, you're getting energized yourself. What went on in that locker room at halftime? Because you guys came out and started the second half pretty strong. You know, we said we can keep with, we can stay with these guys. We can, you know, we can uh, play with them. We can, we can do. We know how to play our basketball. And so I think it was it was super important that we just focused on us rather than focusing on them. Jay, what kind of got you going there? Uh, you know, coaches made an emphasis that I play defense, uh, make smart plays on the offense end, and that's why I just try to make the game as simple as possible. Was there a certain basket or certain play that just kind of everything kind of started clicking for you? Because it seemed like you really all of a sudden took off. Uh, no, I just wanted to go out there and play hard, play defense. Uh, defense is usually what gets my offense going, so just made an emphasis that I play defense. How difficult or how different was it for you guys playing without G and um, I think you only got what, one or two practices in without him, and then you get your first game. What kind of challenge that presented you guys? We recognized that we needed to come together as a team. Nine guys come together. We we're going to play, and we rec and, and we did that. And so that was kind of our focus in practice. That you know what, we need each other way more than um, you know than individual needs. You know, and so I think that that's we we just focus on that and, and it clicked. Not only that, but you earned the start because he's not here. You looked composed out there on the court. Did you feel comfortable here in Fort Collins and in your first game here with the Rams? Yeah, it was uh, nice to get a, a win against Regis to, to kind of calm the nerves a little sure. bit, get those first game shooters out. So it was really not that bad at all. I, I came in and I just wanted to play basketball play hard. You obviously, you're only a sophomore. You're new to the program, but you're a little bit more mature than some of these guys. You've, is that part of why you're a little more comfortable maybe taking on that leadership role at this point without Jan? I think so. I think... Um, you know, I've been in situations that, that maybe others haven't been in, and I think I've grown from those situations and, and those responsibilities put on my shoulders. And so I think that um, you know it's it's second nature almost. You know, when you, when you do it over and over again, you, you fake.